two minute rounds of boxing. Jack Brown, all canine Yorkshire, MKA in the blue. Tim Bassix, Sleaford in the red. The shorter of the two young men as they get their final instructions. So three two minute rounds starts now. And you can see Jack Brownall will have the height advantage here. So tucks his head down, Tim, to push forward, but nice footwork from Jack. He'll want to keep that range, he'll want to keep it long. Keep Tim at those long arms length with straight shots just like that. Tim, for his part, will want to tuck up tight and get inside and work close. And again, as with the previous bouts, fast-paced start, all action, but very skillful. Jack weaving with that shoulder so they keep the head moving. Tim will have to get close, get on the inside where the long arms won't be so effective. When he gets there, he's got to work. Because at the moment, Jack is doing a good job of keeping him at range. Doubling up the jab, steps away, again bobs and weaves and then throws the combinations, forcing Tim to tuck up. Tactically, Jack is fighting where he wants to be, dictating the rhythm of this bout in terms of where it's fought and how it's being fought at range in the middle of the ring. Nice footwork and then there's combinations as Tim looks to close the gap. Tough for the shorter young man when his taller opponent knows how to use those tools. That's better from Tim, he's got to step in hard and fast but then he's pushed straight back as Jack lets the combinations go once more and Tim is under real pressure here. What a tough young man, but Jack really piling it on here as Mike looks on. He'll step in in the second, I'm sure. Now, he gave Tim the opportunity to tuck up and get out on his own, and he did just that. Great refereeing from Mike there. Allowed Tim to work his way out of it and saved the count there. That's good refereeing. A tough, tough round for Tim Bassings as Jack Brownall knew how to use that height and reach advantage in a very good opening round for him. He touched gloves and look how quickly Tim wanted to close the gap. His corner will have told him you can't be at the end of those long arms. It's easier said than done, but he's looking to turn that into a reality. But the footwork of Jack and then the hand speed brings him back out at range once more. Looks to step in, he's game and gutsy, isn't he, Tim? But Jack using the tools he's been given to great effect here. And Tim, to his credit, looking to stand and trade, looking to get inside, looking to get a big shot that could turn this around. It's not happening at the moment, but it's not for want of a lack of trying. Marked up around the face now, reddened is young Tim, but showing no signs of wanting to stop. What a young warrior. And again, nice footwork from Jack, keeping it at range. Keeping subtle pressure on Tim. Ducks under the shot, throws a nice body shot. Tim looks to push forward once more, slips it Jack, and then throws the two shots, backing Tim up once more. Looking to keep him under pressure, hooks to body and head. And there you can see waiting for Tim to initiate, waiting to reply with those long straight shots. Nice little right from Tim, he needs more of it. It's been a tough night, but he's a tough customer. Jack again, just staying at that long range, slips away from the shot, throws his own long right. Stiff jab cross combination. Slips from orthodox to southpaw as he feels. Jack steps away from Tim as he came forward again. And fair play to this young man who's tried to get inside, tried to work on it, so it's not been easy. Because tactically, Jack Brownell's been on point. 
his opening two rounds as we approach the third and final round now. He touched gloves. And Tim quickly across the ring to close the gap, but a little uppercut on the inside from Jack, kept that range again. He steps away as Tim comes forward, uses the lateral movement to keep the range and the distance to stay in the centre of the ring. Tight right hand there from Tim as he comes forward. But Jack picks up the pace once more. Good, lively bout again. Tim looks to push forward, but he walks into a combination. Has to breathe deeply and regroup. It's been a good, solid, confident display from Jack. Robin weaves again and then throws the combination. Breathes deeply, Tim, but what a chin this young man's got. What a heart he's got. Takes those shots, keeps looking for a way forward. And that's where he needed to be, right through the back, but he can't stay there long because his opponent comes flying back, throws the combinations and keeps it for a lot of this bout at the range he's wanting to box at. All credit to both young men, still a very entertaining bout. Slips and throws the combination in reply once more, Jack. Tim again keeps that tight guard, looks to come forward but there's the uppercut on the inside when he does so from Jack, tactically he's been spot on tonight he throws the combination again Little movement on the end then works the body and head, strong finish from Jack Brownell here gutsy performance from Tim Vasquez for me, it's only one way, and I think the body language of both young boxers tell you they both know that too. There's fair play to both. Yeah, Jack Brownell, and he enjoyed that, it was a great performance.